and welcome back to my channel for all things mommy life and life my name is chessa in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you a bunch of pregnancy hacks i am currently 28 weeks pregnant with baby number two and all of these hacks have helped me get through this magical time this video is extra special because i'm collaborating with april escobar here on youtube she is also in her third trimester with her second baby she has the cutest little boy named martin and she's going to be sharing some additional hacks over on her channel so make sure that you go check her out when you're done watching this video I will leave her channel linked down below and without further ado, let's get into the hacks. If you are currently pregnant or you have been pregnant, you know how often that you have to pee. It's like every five minutes, I swear to God, even after you just pee, you feel like you gotta pee. My pregnancy hack for this is that when you are on the toilet, you actually are supposed to lean forward as much as you can in order to express more of your bladder. Apparently from what they say is that it does actually squeeze your bladder a little tighter so that you can release a little bit more and nothing is trapped in there. So it feels like your bladder can have a little bit of extra time, even if it's only a couple minutes <laughs> until it gets full again. Give this one a try if you haven't used it already. During the second pregnancy, I have been suffering from heartburn almost constantly ever since my first trimester which is so weird because I did not get that a lot with my first daughter. I have tried everything from Tums to milk to yogurt, a bunch of different things, but what I found works the most is obviously changing a little bit of your diet, which is kind of sucky, but if you're like me and you don't want to change much of your diet, like because cravings. In addition to that, this tea is amazing. You need to try it if you are suffering from heartburn as much as I am. It is super helpful when you're combating this beast. This heartburn tea has worked wonders for me. I am was truly blown away the first time I tried it. I got this off of Amazon and I'll leave everything that I mentioned today linked down below, but definitely check this out if you are suffering from heartburn as much as I am. Something else that I've been suffering from a lot this pregnancy is headaches. And while you are allowed to have Tylenol when you're pregnant, personally, I don't like to medicate while I'm pregnant as much as I can help it. But Tylenol is something that you are allowed to have. But I also find that Tylenol doesn't really help me very much. I usually take Excedrin Migraine and that's the only thing that really helps me. But since you can't have Excedrin Migraine when you're pregnant, I found that this eye mask is really helpful. I found this at TJ Maxx for like $4 and it has these little like water beads inside and you can put it in the freezer, which is where I keep mine most of the time. And then whenever I'm suffering from a truly bad headache, I can just put it on my eyes and the cooling really helps eliminate my headache along with elimination of noise and just kind of closing my eyes for a little bit. It was really helpful. So when I was in my first trimester, I did not feel hungry at all. And of course, not eating makes you super nauseous. So I found that smoothies were my best friend during this time. You can add protein powder to this and I feel like you can just, it's something that you can sip on and that way it doesn't make you feel super nauseous from you not eating, but you can also just get something in your system. In my third trimester, I feel like I'm hungry constantly, so keeping nuts in my purse at all time is really helpful because it has a lot of really good omega-3s and fatty acids and a lot of protein to help keep me full. Plus, they add a little extra vitamins for you and baby. Also, I find myself grazing in the kitchen a lot, but nothing in my house is really convenient unless it's like chips or something unhealthy. I really like to buy the pre-cut veggies and fruit trays just when I'm feeling super lazy, which is all the time. <laughs> I love having these in my fridge just so I can pull them out anytime I'm feeling like a craving or a snack coming on and I can just dig in anytime I want to. I know that these can be kind of pricey so you can always prep ahead, but me being really lazy and tired all the time and working full time, who wants to do that? So I find that these are really good to have on hand. Convenience is the key for me to eating healthy. Comment below if you have that same mentality. I have had a lot of hip and back pain this time around, and I find that the best things to help combat this is foam rolling and the chirp wheel. If you guys have never heard of the chirp wheel and you have back issues, oh my God, are you missing out? This is my holy grail product. You don't even have to be pregnant for this. Like this, I used this before I even got pregnant, and this thing is amazing. Let me just tell you, this is not sponsored by the way. It was $99 for all three wheels, and I think it was the best purchase I've ever made in my life. I had chronic shoulder pain and chiropractic work wasn't really helping it at all. So I got this. It literally helped me in like less than a couple of weeks. There are three different sizes. You can either purchase just one of them or you can purchase the bundle. Basically all you do is lay down on this and it cracks you in all of the right places and you feel like a million bucks. And for my hip pain, I found that foam rolling is really helpful. I found this one at Target and you, I just kind of roll out my hips and that really is helpful for my hip pain. The second like massager tool that really helpful for me while I'm pregnant 
is this little back massager from Sharper Image. My sister got me this for Christmas. I think that you can find them at like Home Goods and TJ Maxx as well. But I use this thing every day. As you can see, mine is super worn out. It has a little heater built in too, which is so nice. And it's really relaxing on your back. I use this on the tops of my shoulders. I use this on my lower back. I use this for my shoulder, like in between my shoulder blades. This thing is a godsend. My husband uses this. I use this all the time. You need one of these in your life. And this one I think was only like 30 bucks. They have tons of options now on Amazon that you can choose from as well. I don't know if I've actually mentioned this on any of my pregnancy updates, but I have had nasal congestion and like a runny nose throughout my entire pregnancy, which is really annoying. But I do find that something that helps with this is just my little essential oil diffuser. I don't have a humidifier, so this is like the next best thing. Essentially, this is a humidifier. I just don't use any essential oils in it when I'm trying to like help me breathe at night. My husband is actually kind of sensitive to smells, so he doesn't really like a lot of scents being diffused. But I find just having this next to my bed and just leaving it on all night with just the humidifier kind of going is really helpful for me in the morning. A couple of other things that I have not tried that I have heard are really helpful are like the Breathe Right strips that you can put on at night and also saline spray. If you are having trouble sleeping at all, I found that this essential oil roller has really helped me fall asleep. I haven't tried it in the middle of the night to like get me back to sleep or anything like that, but before I lay down to go to bed, I'll rub it on like the back of my ears and I'll rub it down here by my jawline and on my temples and also in my wrists and I'll just like inhale it for a little bit and I find that this helps me shut my eyes and fall asleep much quicker than if I didn't use this. I got this in my bump box. I will try to find a link for it and leave it down below. They say that scratching is a main cause of stretch marks. I don't know if this has any truth to it or not, but I, I try not to scratch my belly if I am itching. Instead, I just rub vitamin E oil on my stomach. Instead of scratching, I just like to rub it and keep it as moisturized as possible. I've just been using pure vitamin E oil. I found this at Target. I've been using a couple other oils as well, like coconut oil or an oil that I got in my bump box. I find that the vitamin E oil is the most beneficial just because it penetrates into the deeper layers of the skin, which is why it's supposed to be really good for helping heal, heal scar tissues. So I find that vitamin E oil is the best to help prevent against stretch marks and itching. Also to help with stretch marks and circulation, dry brushing will be your best friend. I got this little brush at the grocery store. I'm sure you can find them just about anywhere like Cost Plus World Market or even TJ Maxx or Home Goods. Dry brushing has so many benefits and it's really helpful for circulation. So if you are suffering from any kind of swelling in your legs, this might be able to help you a little bit. I try to do this once a day, but honestly, I'll be the first to admit that I forget it. Being pregnant, you're also supposed to stay away from all kinds of caffeine. I've been drinking this drink, which I find is super helpful. This actually came in my bump box. And again, I will try to link it below. But this gives you energy, but it has it's caffeine free. I don't know how this magic works, but it does. Also, and I'm sure you've heard this a million times, if you are exhausted, try chugging water. It does help you a little bit, but it doesn't last as long as I'd like. So this drink has been amazing. It doesn't taste the best, but it also doesn't taste horrible or anything like that. I just kind of chug it down as much as I can and I really find it gives me a really big energy boost. I also really miss cocktails. I know this might sound so bad, but I really just would love a glass of wine or a beer. And obviously since you can't, I have found that the best non-alcoholic wine is a free wines. I actually found this on an Instagram ad and I said, hell yes, I'm going to try this. It is de-alcoholized wine and it doesn't have a Surgeon General warning on it or anything like that. So I find that this might be safer to the other alternatives like non-alcoholic beer, which has like 0.05% alcohol in it and does still have a Surgeon General warning on it. But do your research. I don't wanna tell you that it's safe for you to drink this during pregnancy or not. I just found that this is the best one that worked for me that didn't have any alcohol in it and it still tasted similar-ish. <laughs> the red wine's not as good, but I find that like the champagne version is really good <laughs> and it just does the trick so you don't feel left out on special occasions like New Year's Eve or your birthday or something like that. If you wear dresses a lot during your pregnancy and you suffer from thigh chafing, these will be your best friends. Um, I think I am going to return these ones specifically because this one, I feel like it does kind of ride up and it doesn't protect my thighs as much. This is just maternity shapewear. Basically it comes in like a pack of two, really comfortable not too constricting. You wanna get the ones that have like the longer legs on them just so that you have added 
support so that your thighs don't rub together. Thigh chafing is no fun. It sucks. And if your thighs don't rub together, what's that like? Comment below. If you are feeling extra nauseous during your pregnancy and you don't have anything else that can really help combat this, I just take a little bit of ginger and a garlic press and I press it down and infuse it into some water with some cucumber, which is super hydrating, and a little bit of lemon. I find that this really helps you if you are feeling nauseous but just don't want to eat anything. Give this a try. And my last hack of the day is this May band. You may have heard a lot of people tell, telling you all about how hair ties work wonders to save you from buying maternity pants. I hate the hair tie trick. It doesn't work as well as I'd like it to. And this thing is amazing. I don't know how I got through my first pregnancy without this thing. This thing is awesome. It is called a Mayband. I got this off of Amazon. It has Velcro and it loops through the belt loops in your pants and then comes together and you can adjust the size as much as you need and it stays in place. The hair tie thing sucks. It falls off. This thing was only like 20, 25 bucks. I can't remember, but this is awesome. And you will definitely thank me if you haven't already tried this. Probably my number one must have pick right here. And that's everything for this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you found any of these helpful, leave in the comments down below any hacks that you might have that you've used during your pregnancy or which one that you're most likely to try out from my video. Please make sure that you head over to April's channel and check out her videos as well. I'm very excited to hear what her maternity hacks are because I am always looking for more. If you check out April's channel, let her know that I sent you. And if you're coming here from April's channel, thank you guys so much for watching and for joining me. I would love for you to be a part of my YouTube family and for you to consider subscribing. And if you are a current subscriber of mine, thank you guys so much. I truly do appreciate you guys. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.